Hey everybody, I'm MJ and welcome to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. So this game came out 2009 and it is the first game I've wanted to play and because really one of the only ones I have that I'm good at. So um, no, we're not gonna watch the cutscene. Okay, so to start off, I already beat the game and stuff, so we're just gonna jump into the adventure. So, yeah. So, basically, this is gonna be a, uh, I'm, pro I'm gonna do two worlds, two parts of each world per episode. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, and, uh, they just, I always wonder how to this day they survive jumping out of a castle and landing perfectly safe without injuries or death, <laughs> so. All right, so this is world one, so yeah. So this is gonna be a pretty fucking awesome adventure if I say so myself. All right, so to start off, this is world one. I know this game like the back of my hand, so I don't know how long this video is gonna be. And then we come up here. And this is the propeller suit. It is my favorite item in the game, so I would choose it over anything. Except the squirrel suit in you, that I would choose over this, because of how it works in the mechanics. Oh, and there's a life in here, too. And then if you just sit here and wait, you'll come all the way to that alcove. So. And then three more lives. And then the last star coin is up here. And... Gotta run over here, fly, and boom! First level done in not even that long, I don't think. <laughs> and then that will unlock the second world, obviously. Okay, so we're underground now. Uh, the item is an ice flower, but I'm not gonna pick it up because as I said, I'd rather have this over that. Over any item, really. So I'm gonna fly over all this. And uh, you, you, when you're on like these things, you tilt the Wii remote, depending on like which player has control if you're multiplayer. Um, you like tilt it, and there's other controls like shaking Wii remotes and stuff. So whichever player's in control of those things, uh, the, their icon will show. If it's Mario, M, Luigi, L, if it's Toad, then a Toad symbol. Then you go down here. 
and then I'm not gonna get jerked by that guy because I already have multiple times in the past. I'm not letting it happen. Alright, I'm gonna rush over here. Then I'm gonna come, come down here. And then the last star coin should be right over here. Just need to hit this. And then... Come up here. And then we'll, we'll exit. And then you tilt this all the way. Believe it or not, you can actually make it without this. If it's if it's completely straightened and you jump at the last second, you will actually get that one up. I'm not even lying. I've done it before, so. And we'll go to the Mushroom House. I also forgot to mention, get ready for Nostalgia Overload while I play through this series. And one of my favorite things when I was little is the fact that when you play multiplayer that you can literally, um, I was three when this came out, three years old when this game came out. So the best part is when you still turns from friends, depending on if you're the friends that like to joke around. All right. So whoever's turn it is, uh, you can steal turns. It'll it'll make like a star ring around the person whose turn it is, and it'll be like your turn. And I really do not want to fail. Ah, oh, damn! I could have won that. Alright, so yeah, when you win, um, that will be the thing that tells you you win, and then when you lose, then it gives you a really jerkish me message. Jerkish, jerkish, jerkish message. Sorry, stuttering. Alright, so we can just fly over this. Now this level, you get Yoshis, which was also a really fun part about this game when I was little. And uh, fun fact, the, if you have a mini mushroom, you can run through these pipes. I think these have a, a one-up in them, those two pipes. And then coming up, then one of the pipes has like a little entrance underground, an underground area. It doesn't have a star coin, so you don't have to worry. I know where all the star coins are, or at least most of them are, because this was like, this was my thing when I was little, so... You rush over here, eating those apples, um, you eat five, and then you'll get an item. So, yeah. And depending on what item you have will depend on what item you get. And if you have this, I'm just guess. I'm pretty sure it gives you a one-up. Like, it's fire, ice, propeller, and then one-up. And I think in one of the versions, there you also can get a penguin suit. But I'm not, but I'm not exactly sure about that. I remember it, but I'm not sure. Or at least I think. And then there's also a shortcut. You come up here, you fly up here, and then you run this way. Then you go through that pipe, secret pipe up there. Then you use Yoshi, and you use him to flutter jump, and you get yourself a life. And I also got two lives, not even meaning to. Woohoo! This way! So yeah, there's the cannon. Yeah, and then this happens if you're not- if you're playing by yourself. Mario, bad news! This letter just got dropped off at the castle! I ordered my minions to stuff every annoying Annoying Toad, they catch into a question mark block. Ha, if you want to save them, you'll have to do it alone. You won't get any help from your friends. Bowser Jr. So yeah, if you're playing by yourself, you have to rescue these bastards, which you really won't want to. I'm worried about them. If you find a Toad, carry him to the goal. And then that will happen if you're playing by yourself. That guy will still say something, but that won't happen. That exact thing that just happened. So yeah, you save them, but in reality, it does nothing for you. So... 
Like, it doesn't add towards the collectibles. Like, it's it's not anything you do to get a star on your file. Like, it's basically just pointless. I don't hate it, but it's pointless. And I used to save them all the time as a kid, thinking it would get me something to realize it wouldn't. So, uh, yeah, I made a mistake. So, but anyways, you just rush through this level. Really, nothing getting in my way right now. There's actually multiple color Yoshis if you play multiplayer. And I like blue, because blue is my favorite color. So. Honestly, if Luigi was playable in this game, I would play as him because he's my favorite. Yeah, so when you get five, one up. And then I want to kill this guy because... Okay, I don't want to lose this item, so... Alright. There's, no... There's a one up in one of these. Die! Oh! Alright. I didn't mean to lose that, but... Yeah, but, um, I can't get one up because I lost the item. Oh. Okay, I didn't want to die there. That was close. Alright, but you complete that level, and then it'll get you this. So, yeah. I really didn't want to lose that propeller, because I would have showed off something really great later on. So, yeah, this is the star house. Um... And then it's like, here's a rare item, I'm sure it'll come in handy. And you literally open it to find out it's a star. Which, it is a star house, but there there could be a lot of a better item. A rarer item than that, because it only lasts for like, five seconds. Press 1 on the map to access your items. Don't be afraid to use items to clear a tough course. So yeah, um, you press 1, and then that will show you items. And then here's the cannon, which will obviously take you to a... A land that's, like, further on. That you need to play other worlds to unlock. So this one will go to world 5. Um, there's one in almost every world. Except, like, one or two. And then, like, the last world obviously won't have a cannon. And neither will the, like, bonus world. And then this will reveal a world that we get to later. Or this reveals a world we get to later. Alright, so then you press minus to access the map. All the worlds aren't unlocked yet, but they will in time. But for now, we're going back to world one, and we are finishing this video off with the fortress. So we basically just need to go up, and then we take this, we run up. It's e really easy to also scale this tower with a propeller, that's like why I also wanted it, so. We jump up here, that's where the first star coin is. Keep going, and going, and going. And then we come to this little cove where there's the second star coin, and then we get to the checkpoint. Keep going, um, this is a really jerkish spot if you ask me, depending on how good you are. And if you're bad, well, uh, you're not gonna do bad on this spot, but like, I've done really bad on that as a kid. Okay, so this is a roulette block. Ah, oh, I always get stars. I wanted a propeller, if you didn't realize, um, Funny history about that, my best friend is a whiz at timing those roulette blocks. He will always get the item he needs. Like, just paying attention to the order of the items is like, it's nothing to him. He will... He's a god at timing those. I'll just give him that. Okay, this red coin ring. Um, whenever you have an item, it'll just give you a one-up. But um, when you... When you don't have an item, it will give you whatever item is usually like in the level, like the main item of the item of the level. And then 
you just go from there. Also would like to mention, I was one of those kids who was terrible at this game and then got so much better over time. So that's another thing I love about this game. And this god fight, boss fight is insanely easy if you know what you're doing. So you can literally just stand here and he won't. I got hurt right there. But what I mean is you can literally just stand on the corner right here and it will not hurt you. And you can do the same with the other side. And then one more hit and he's out. And yeah, that is the first half of World 1. So, yeah. And that is the first half of World 1, as I just said. So, next we are gonna... So next time on New Super Mario Bros. Wii, we'll be heading here. But um, I gotta call it here. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and then subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.